everyone, and welcome to episode three of Stranded Alien Dawn Hard Run. So let's get into this. I believe we left off at hard video two. And let's see what we had here. So I was working on my wall and I just got some farming going. Um, my food situation is looking all right. It says I only have enough for four days, but um, I have enough to cook, so that's not the problem. Um, so once Emmeline starts cooking, this will go away. Don't worry about when you see this. This is a worrisome thing when you actually don't have food. So. One, I'd like to square off for how I'm going to make my base. So let's see here. Because first I want to get my I want to get my wall up um, because I don't really want any attacks. Um, again, where I have to go on foot. So I'm hoping to I don't think I can cut through here, so I may have put my building in kind of a pain in the butt spot. So let's see what we got here. I don't know if I want to go too far. That might be too small. So let's see here. And then I will square up with this. Um, yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a layout. Um, I do have a set idea. Um, I do it in my other uh, games, I do set up a, a specific type of building. Um, you can check out my uh, building bases and defenses. It will give you an understanding of, of why I'm trying to build um, what I do. Uh, I do need a self-contained area. Um, it's very helpful. Uh, therefore, it's, it's a bit of work off the hop but it will pay out in the long run. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> um, so I believe I will, I will make a temporary around this. So this will work fine anyway. Uh, I can just destroy this after, but I do want to close this in. Um, you know, the problem is, is, is you have something in mind and you want to build it, but you, you do need to start with new stuff. Um, I, put it a little too close to here um, therefore um, when I'm trying to put my wall across it's not gonna go complete um, but that's fine we can work with that um, I am gonna make a open area and you should have it at least four wide if you're going to do um, as I've done in my defenses <clears throat> um, because I don't usually do the mazes. Um, I'm not really into them. Uh, you can do them if you want. That's fine. Um, if, if that works for you. Um, but do keep in mind the closer you do build it to your walls, they may just come right to your wall, especially if your people or, or anywhere near that, which I have seen in, in videos. I try to push things further out um, so that they have to go further away because they will want to come into the open area, but they're also wanting to get my people. Um, and if I am too close to this, let's say, they may want to just wander in. And all you do is you just move your people a little bit further over, and they'll just recorrect their course and go around and in. Um, it's worked on many different things. Uh, so what I'm doing here with the base is I'm going to be putting my home, I would say, roughly around here. Um, it'll give me expansion to go out. I'm going to build a, uh, I'd say a 12 by 10 or maybe more. Um, that will be sufficient to start me off. And then once I get into the fall and winter and then grab some more wood, I'm going to, um, I'm going to expand that to put my rest of my supplies in, hopefully by winter. Um, that's what we're hoping for. Uh, so I do put um, fence doors. This is again why I like the smaller fences um, because then I don't have to um, I don't have to worry about closing gates. I really don't like it. Um, so I just I would rather not. So this way they have ways to get through. Uh, the door shut right after them, and this is quite handy. So 
so let's get these in for now. Uh, I may have to remove them depending on if my base goes, my house goes too close to them because you can build against walls, but you cannot build against gates, so then it will just tell you you just can't build anything. All right, so I think this is pretty good. Um, I don't believe my, my walls will ever expand past this. It gives me enough room for expansion of farming. And I'm just trying to uh, not have to keep moving and expanding. I'm going to build this right off the hop, and this is what we're looking for. So let's get this moving. And then hopefully we can get enough wood chopped. So I will make sure I'm not on any salvage because I'm going to probably want Nova to do this work for me. All right, so everything is good. Okay. And I've already done the feedback multiple times. I don't know if anyone else is having trouble with uh, that still not stopping. Um, it was supposed to... It was supposed to have slowed down after the last update, and it just seems to keep quite annoying people. We'll put another gate up here, maybe. Just so they can go up to the trees fast without having to go out the side. Alright, so... I need to get some more research on. Let's see what we got here. And what I'm going to want is not available. So what I really do want to do now is I hope that the grain is harvestable. And it is. And that is perfect. So I'm going to want some grain. And then I'm going to research the oils uh, because I'm going to need that done so I can get the gasoline um, by doing the fuel mixing. Uh, it's very important. It helps with uh, what I'm going to want for part of my defense at the beginning, which is a couple flamethrowers at least will help. Um, and because I have not been lucky and found gasoline in the crafts, I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned hard way, which is not the most fun thing. But I mean, I got to look at the bright side on this. I, I did get a sniper rifle, which is very handy. Um, so that helps a lot. Now, as you see with my people, they're, uh, they're moving on pretty good. Uh, everyone is helping out. So therefore, um, I'm going to get this done quickly, hopefully. Um, and then we'll see what happens with this. So right now, uh, like I said, because Krista is so quick to do this. I would rather have her right now you doing some transporting and stuff right now uh, because this will be very helpful to get all of my stuff up. I probably will need some more shelving. We are pretty tight at the beginning with the shelving so uh, that's why I do want to get into um, a house as soon as possible. Uh, therefore, I can have a little bit more room to put things, and you know, these days go by so quickly. So we're already on another day, and we're getting our fence up. Uh, because yeah, I I don't want to go after the bugs anymore. Uh, the least amount of times uh, that I can get attacked by them, because their levels will start to go up higher as my years will go, and. Uh, not having defenses up properly right away. Uh, animals will also start wanting to come into my farms uh, and they will just destroy them so I don't want that either. So we're gonna hope we can get all this up and running very soon. Uh, I am making my my base the length and the size of what I'm actually looking for. As I said I will be putting my residence probably to about here. Um, this will hold pretty much everything I'm going to need and then as the time goes on I will do some slight expanding. I will leave room for that and then I don't really have to do anything after that. So if I can, I can get this up somewhere by you know year two somewhere in the, the earliness of it um, then I'll be quite happy uh, because my defenses will be up. Um, my research will start flying through uh, because I won't need Krista for a lot of other things. And then, uh, yeah, the rest will just be um, fine-tuning everything after. So we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> but, yeah, I do need these walls up. Everyone is working hard, which is pretty good. 
Um, yeah, I don't have to keep micromanaging them all the time. They will just handle and deliver. It's very important. Um, it will actually make or break a game if you um, have people doing all of the wrong things. Uh, I have seen things where people have one person on handling and deliver, and, and all you're going to do is... Um, all you're going to do is make it that it's much more difficult for them to uh, get things done. So, so I'm going to take Emelyn off for a sec. Oh, actually, we can't do that. I will just make these out of metal then because I'm actually going to be using the, um, the wood for my fence. So we'll make these out of metal. And then that will get done. And we almost got our fence done. So as you can see from where I've landed, I've got quite a bit of resources around. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I have seen other ones and you know, you got a bit of this and you got a bit of that. Uh, this one seems to be in my opinion, um, which I mean, <laughs> only matters to me that I have what I actually need close um, because yeah as I explained before the distance is a bit of a pain um, when they got to go too far to chop the wood or carry it back you know days can go by and that's real real pain okay so looks like we're doing good we almost got our wall up which is which is good with me um, so I am going to start building my defenses here. I really would like to get some gasoline from one of these uh, crafts, but we're going to go and get the, um, the grain from over here uh, until ours is completely up. I guess actually we don't have to now. And there we go. So I'm going to get on that. And then once that is done, Actually, I'm just going to leave the antibiotics for now. You do want to get these, but they happen so quickly that um, uh, it's not a worry. As long as you have a decent supply, and what I usually have by the time I roll it into winter is probably about 30. Um, and you may or may not um, need them. It depends. So we're going to see. And if I do, then I do. And if I don't, I don't. But it's good to have them. So yeah, so I guess we don't have to worry about the grain right now. Let's cancel that order since we got our crop in. Let's get these shelves up. Then we can get some more stuff on our shelves. There goes Quinn. Perfect. So as you see, Quinn's just running right to the next job. Um, my priorities are my priorities. The shelving can wait. Even if I lose a couple pieces, it's okay. Because uh, what I'm really wanting is that fence up. So I'm going to move this over to here because I'm going to build some more. And that was a very quick move. Um, that's why that's very helpful to uh, have them on handling. And let's get ourselves two more up here. Kadoke. And I am going to build a fence here. Let's say we'll go here. And let's see what we got going on. Okay, so we are going to gonna need to produce. So let's get our oil press up. And then once the oil press is up and I make some some oils, then I will be good to go for the uh, fuel mixing, and then once the fuel mixing is up, then uh, I'll be perfect. So Quinn is going to construct the fence. Let's get some oil in here. So we are going to make, say, maybe a hundred. I always want to keep this going. Uh, the oils are also used for your cooking as well. Okay, so we're going to need Emelyn on some more food, hopefully. And looks like we got ourselves another day. 
there's my fuel mixing and then I will put on after that I want the flamethrowers I'm not going to worry too much about an automated turret at the moment because to go through all of the uh, stuff you're going to need to do for one automated turret um, they don't really help at this moment I mean they can but you're going to have to go into all your electrical it's going to cost you your parts um, you make sure you have enough CPU cores and stuff like that um, and you're also going to have to have the power. Flamethrowers at the beginning of this, especially at this this early in the game, are quite sufficient. Uh, even just two of them and a few traps around. It'll stop the majority of the bugs that are going to come. Uh, at the moment, they'll just be like the beetles and stuff. Um, and they're just going to come for the open doorway. So everything should be fine. At least I hope. But we will see. So our crops are doing okay. we got some cloth. So we're good. We got some scrap cloth in case you know we need some extra. Uh, our glitter cap should be good soon. And how's our food looking? So we're running out of the melons. I could have her grab some more, uh, but let's see what we got here. Uh, in here, I can also determine um, which vegetables. So I'm just going to leave them as both. So when she starts making the veggie soup again, she will move off of automatically the um, off the butter melons. So look at how fast Krista researches. She is crazy. <laughs> and I mean, this is without her insights. Um, well, she's about to have a meltdown, and that's not really going to help me. Let's hope she does okay. And let's see, we're gonna want Nova to I'm gonna want Nova to get some rock. So I'm gonna need some stone here to finish off what I'm doing. And let's see how Krista's doing. Yeah, because with, with Krista's insights, this is why I picked her. I do like when she gets them, um, because she will jump from zero to fifty. Produce the gasoline, so let's make some gas. So I'm going to craft, let's say, 50 for now. That should be good. And I'm going to want my gas on an until too, because I will be getting the balloon up, and I'm just going to want a steady supply of it. And I will start chewing through my grain. I have 370. I'm not worried about using the grain at the moment for the uh, food. This is what my glitter caps are for. And I'm not going to need a lot of light at first. Just a few uh, shroom caps around. And they do last for 12 days, which is uh, very handy. Okay. So let's get Quinn on some, some crafting here. We're looking at making 50 fuel. And there he goes. So he's just made enough. And as you see with my handling, um, how Quinn was doing that, uh, everybody's pitching in right now. I have Krista off her research at the moment until my fuel was processed. So I believe I have some now. Nope, he hasn't made any yet. So we're at nighttime. Another day has gone by. Man, this game moves so fast. Um, yeah, because we're we'll almost be in fall soon, which is okay. Because, like I said, the the main thing I'm trying to get up is I, I really want the flamethrowers here. They will be helpful. Um, I will block them in, and I will have traps all the way through. And for the small amount that should be coming at me, my my people even with two guns uh, should be fine. Um, the flamethrowers usually just melt them pretty quickly. But I do have a wall up. I have some gates. I got a bit of a farm going. We're at day 16. This is looking pretty good. And we will continue on with this. Yeah, see, my my idea at the beginning is to push these people, hopefully, to the, to the break of a meltdown. Um, I, I really strive to push fast to get things up and running. Um, if, you, if you just say, spend the time to just wall in a farm and then keep your people over here, what you end up with is, if you get more attacks, this becomes a bit of a problem and it's not what I desire. 
Um, this, this size should be quite sufficient for me, and I should be okay with that. Alright, so we want Quinn. There we go. Quinn's making some gas. We just need to make one. Like I said, I got unlucky in the RNG, and I did not get that, so... Alright, so I'm going to research uh, flamethrowers. I'm going to throw antibiotics on. I'm not too worried about power yet until I actually get my building up. I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, it's unnecessary to dive right into the power. I mean, I I if this is what you want to do, then by all means go ahead. Uh, I don't really require it at the beginning. I am going to want maybe some more stuff off these crafts, so I'm going to research that as well. I'm not worried about the music night. Um, I, I do try to give them bare minimum of things. I, I am a bit of a taskmaster, and uh, I do like to push them. So now we got Krista back on her research, which is good. And as you see, again, uh, I'm not needing to tell them points to go. They just will know what they're supposed to be doing. Emmeline does have food, so she has been bouncing in between my planting and harvesting and the food, which has been good. And I'm probably going to need some more wood. So let's get Nova to uh, grab a few more trees. And I guess it looks like we're in another night again. These day-night cycles on fast speed, they are something. And there are my flamethrowers. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do here with my flamethrowers is... Let's give me a second here. So I need them to reach to there. Copy that. And you go there. Alright, so we're going to let them have their night. Uh, I leave a space in behind so that they can refuel. Because uh, if not, then they can't reach the back of this. So what I end up doing is putting a fence door in here just so they can get through. And I keep this tight so nothing can get in the side of them. So I don't want to leave too much room uh, on their sides here. And, you know, this should be pretty sufficient for me once I get this up. Uh, I will breathe a bit of a sigh of relief once this is up because then I will have some form of defense and then I can start to worry about building my home and I'll probably build it somewhere around here. I do want my home to be close to my uh, farms so they just have to walk out their door, do their farming and they will be storing it inside my home which will be handy. And how are we doing here? Looking alright, we got some space. Might throw a few more uh, storages down. Just for good measure. <clears throat> okay, so we got Quinn working on our flamethrowers. We got uh, alloy. We got some gasoline. So we're doing good. We got 20 fuel. Might need some more rock, depending on how far I build this out. So let's get some rock going here too. So we got one flamethrower up, this is pretty good. And Quinn is working on the next one. And I really do like when these people are doing their jobs properly. Ah, see, now we just got some bugs. <laughs> so, speak of the devils. Okay, so we got 30 of them up here. So I don't know what I'm going to want to do. I'm hoping they'll get caught. Um, did not have enough time to get my traps down, so that's a bit of a problem. I am going to want to bring Nova back. So I'm going to uh, undraft her. And she should come back with her wood. And I'm going to see if I can get some traps down here quickly. <laughs> I uh, will put them at the beginning. Let's see. And I'll put them here.
here. And I do need the rest of that wall before they do come and attack. And then we're going to hope for the best. But uh, yeah, this is uh, its a bit of an issue. But it's one we're going to hope we can get. So now I am going to micromanage Quinn as he is not constructing this. I want him to construct the fences so we can get this up and running. Evelyn's coming down like, like a good person here. Nova's helping out. Everybody's pitching in to get this all up and running. I'm going to take Quinn back and get him also to finish this fence. And I am going to get Nova. Nope, she cannot do that. Uh, but we're getting some transporting here, so we'll get our traps down, hopefully. Uh, this is, again, why I want people to um, help out. So Nova, because of her handling, is wanting to go pick up the wood. I do not know if that is a good idea, depending on when these bugs come. But we do need the stuff, and sure as shit, <laughs> there they are. So, I am going to need my people back in here and down here very quickly. So, hopefully, now all of the bugs will come around. And I don't need these two because they do not have any weapons. So, let's see how this goes. So, even for being a bit unprepared. This has worked out okay. And let's get the rest. And there we go. Perfect. I am very, very happy with that result. Uh, especially for being <laughs> a bit unprepared. Uh, as you see, no one was injured. Uh, so this worked out very well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this has gone a little longer only because we just had the attack uh, that I was not expecting. Uh, I have one tiny fence destroyed. My flamethrowers, as you see, have stopped all those bugs. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, so what we were going to do is we're going to save this right here. And uh, yeah, we're going to call it a day and then I will uh, get back to this again. So remember, please like and subscribe. It does help a lot. Um, I hope you enjoy the, these videos that I'm making. I hope you, this run will be uh, good for you to watch. Uh, maybe you can learn something. Maybe you can't. Uh, maybe it's just fun to uh, just sit and watch me struggle on this. Either way, um, again, like and subscribe. And uh, do look forward to making more videos for you. And I thank you very much.